Hello and welcome everyone to part 8 of the Chimerian Let's Play of Total War M2. We continue where we left off last time in turn phasing it through Armenia, pulling back from the Colchis, fleeing through the mountains there. And so we are. Well, we now that Armenia's down, that they've been our big enemy for the last couple of parts. Uh, since we started this campaign. Uh, also, I should say some scheduled changes. This will now, the Chimerian Let's Play, uh, have a regular scheduled slot um, because the Octavian Let's Play has come to an end. And um, so this regular slot will now be uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for the Chimerian Let's Play. Obviously, this is hopefully going up on Wednesday. Um, just an additional part because I haven't been able to make one for the last couple of days and I made a little video about that and the Dragon Age Inquisition series. So I'm trying to get back on top of those. That will mean that the, my um, outstanding series besides that will be Alien Isolation and Dragon Age Inquisition. Rise Son of Rome, I have actually finished that let's play. I just need to actually render up those parts and put it out. So that gives you an idea of where I'm going with the content on my channel. So... I said, let's go to the diplomacy. We are at war with uh, Media Anthropanthi. I can never say that right. Uh, they've only got one settlement. We didn't draw anyone else that they were allied to uh, into that war because, well, they're not. Their only military ally was the Armenians. And they're just one little army over here and they're about to die. Um, so after that, I guess we have to decide who else hates us. Well, these guys aren't particularly friendly. However, unfortunately, they are military allies with the Royal Scythians who are down here now, bizarrely. Uh, they managed to flee over there. So we could do that. We could push over here. Um, Thrace has been taken out by them. Sparta holds here. Um, Pergamon looks like a nice target to go for. That will bring in a war with Rhodes who also don't particularly like me. Galatia, we have a trade agreement with and we're friendly. Cappadocia, we have them as a defensive ally. So it looks like Pergamon will be our next target and we'll pull it in roads as well. Um, so Lucids at the moment, they're happy with us. Again, we've got trade with them, so we're kind of going to hold off there. As well, though, it might be worth pushing east with several factions here. That's still going so. I know I don't, we don't want a multi-front war. So I'll probably push against Media Anthrop in this part. So I really will appreciate any feedback and uh, you know thoughts that you guys want to share. Be much appreciated of who you think I should go after. I'm gonna see if I can kill this guy over here. Well, he's gonna be a pain. Um, I've got a good chance there. Let's see if my dignitary or my noble rather can have any better success. Um. Let's let's go for my nobles manipulate. Let's give that a go. I am sure we will be able to come to some arrangement. Enemy agent hindered. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted, but it'll have to do. Uh, I really want a spy down here though. So I'm actually going to pull this spy to check out uh, Media Anthropanthi. I can never say it right. I'm going to probably call them Media Anthrop. <laughs> Don't know why. It's why. I don't look at them and go. Oh yeah, that's clearly their name. Uh, upgrading where we can, and we were. Is that? Where I got my two armies? Uh, no, I have three. I have three. Because obviously up here we were trying to upgrade the barracks as much as we could. Bosporian pikes, armored Bosporian warriors. Again, obviously I'm using uh, several little mods here, so that may well add uh, extra um, extra units in from Champlo. Again, to give the faction a bit more variety and depth. Which is what I always prefer. Uh, yeah, one of these armies can move. I think you guys should probably move. You can probably help me take out Media Anthrop and potentially push against those Persians. Oh, yes, let's increase the skill there. Uh, we're going to go for military logistics as well. That should help. How are we doing in terms of dynasty? The other family is not doing so well because they actually have no one on the field representing them. Uh, very not so good at all for them. Um, we could have. Well, we don't have a. Any chance of civil war at the moment, so that's okay. Um, yeah, so I want to push out from Gazaka. We're going to replenish up there. We will repair that, or rather convert that over. And I think we're just going to bring... Do I want to bring these guys down? I say, obviously, I want to wait for you guys to see what you think, but I can throw myself in here. I've got these guys to get through. Defense allies, I can't get through their lands at the moment, so maybe I should look east to consolidate over here first before I push west. I'll bring that other army down just in case. 
Um, but as I said, in this part, I'll probably be looking to hit uh, Media Anthropanthi uh, first. But obviously, I will uh, look to you guys in my war council in the comments for what you guys suggest. But yeah, we'll bring this army down for now. I'll try and get that uh, dignitary back in as soon as possible. Uh, we don't want to go into their lands and upset them, so we'll have to go around this way. Okay, moving them quickly. So with that done, I think we are good to end the turn. Uh, oh, no, we have an unassigned skill. Of him, of course. Uh, punishment rates. Oh, position. That's pretty good. Uh, but we want to probably go for... We want to go for something that can help with his manipulation, actually. Yes, yeah, so we'll go for Doom. Because we are trying to hit that agent there. Right, let's end the turn. Uh, while we're going through this, I wanted to let you guys know that um, this video has been uh, kindly sponsored by Opinion Outpost. And the top link in the description, in fact, will uh, take you over uh, to the website. Uh, they've asked if I would be up for doing, giving them a little shout-out. Um... Opinion Outpost basically has various research companies uh, on there that need your opinions for important subjects such as food, TV, film, new products, politics, and you can earn cash or Amazon.com uh, gift cards, iTunes gift cards, um, just for sharing your opinions on their website, which as I said is linked in the description. Uh, right at the top there. So if you want to go check it out and you think you've got some pretty good opinions and you want to share them and you've got a little bit of time, maybe want to earn a little bit of extra cash for a DLC here or there or something like that, um, obviously coming up to Christmas, I guess uh, helps save a little bit of extra cash here and there. So um, yeah, go uh, go check it out if you're interested. And so that link is in the top um, of the description. Uh, and also I should say it's completely free to sign up and use, so you know, there's no hidden charges or anything like that. Um, and uh, every time you enter a survey, you get one free entry into their quarterly uh, $10,000 prize draw. And you can enter, well, obviously you can do as many surveys as you want, so there's no uh, limit on en uh, on how many entries you can you can get. So that's, that's pretty cool too. Um, so if that interests you, go check out that link, and thanks again to Opinion Outpost for sponsoring this video. Anyway, we have been moving our troops through, again, force marching them down here, and my spy will be able to look into Ekpatana next time. So let's go check that out. Uh, meanwhile, we can upgrade some more stuff. We probably do need to work on the old economy. Um, food is okay, so we probably could go to the grain pits for a little bit of a boost. But let's just have a look. It's kind of, I like to upgrade my heartland settlements first. Uh, I shouldn't actually forget that this is one over here. And I probably shouldn't also forget that. We need to make sure Hellenic is dominant. That's not the right one I want, really. Um, again, we can upgrade here. Um, we said some funds to upgrade that barracks when it's time. We can upgrade that to Thracian uh, Auxiliary Peltas, Chimerian Heavy Archers. That'd be cool. I'd like to get some of them, please, but not yet. So I'm going to go for Grain Pits, please. These guys are chilling over here, so we should probably look to move them. Um, this would be Cappadocia, or they pushed over here. Have they newly taken that? Is that newly taken? Yeah, I think Pokemon have that before. No, I don't know. Anyway, they're doing, they're doing well by giving you a good push. So Pokemon uh, might be worth checking out. So again, I will send my spy over to have a look, see what they're up to. Uh, I won't send the army just yet, we're going to hold off. Uh, those are slaves over there, we may need to take them down, or keep an eye on them at least. They come too close to us. Dignitary is following down, so again, we can earn a little bit more by him uh, helping with the administration of the army there. And that's everything we can do, so another end turn. And away we go. Right. Do, 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 do. Defensive You're Alliance. Not to sit idly upon the bank, but to take the fish as it swims by. Mm. Well, it's kind of at this point where are they going to get themselves into more wars and drag me in with them? They have no other allies. We already are, have a trade agreement and a non-aggression pact. It's a moderate offer, I doubt, and I can, I can extort any money from them. Military access for 400. Do not take this offer lightly. I make it now in friendship, but that can change. That would allow me to come down through their lands here, but then I still be blocked by the Cappadocians. Uh, I'm going to decline this for now. I'm going to decline, just because a defensive alliance with, with the Seleucids, if, I think they're probably at war with everyone they could be at war with. All the Satrapies have rebelled against them, pretty much. Um, but I just don't like the idea of being dragged into a huge war with them. I'd rather go, go around the flanks and pick off 
the sort of the scraps of the enemies that have been left. Political intrigue. Uh, oh, he was wounded. Oh no. Oh wow, look at these guys I can choose. Yeah, Champlain's really updated his mod with lots of different units now. This is cool. I like it. Because it used to be Kino uh, Chimera Noble Infantry or um, Noble Horse Archers. I think maybe Citizen Cab as well. But now we've got Chimerian Guard, uh, Noble uh, Bosporian Cavalry, or Chosen Guard. They all sound incredibly cool and badass. Um. I kind of want to go for the Chimerian Guard. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Those guys have a ridiculous amount of health, that cavalry unit. I, I'm i going to go for some heavy sword infantry, because I don't really have powerful infantry yet, so I'm going to go for these guys. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Other families, we probably do need to get another another family in there. Because we're, we're not doing too good. And this guy actually has um, cultural conversion. So let's go for that. He's in this army here, because, um, oh, my, my faction leader actually got knocked out there. That's who he was. I didn't really, <laughs> I don't know who he is. Right, let's pull these, this dignitary down. These guys are in force march. Let's put them to normal. Let's pull the agent here. Oh, hello. Hello, chaps. How you doing? Um, well, seeing as both these armies are equipped with siege weapons, it shouldn't be a problem. In fact, I'm going to give them another one of my, um, bring them over here. I'm going to slide down one of those extra um, ballistas. So these guys are now a nice 20 stack. I'm going to move them to here, because if I was to be ambushed, I think I could probably turn it around reasonably easily. Um, what else we got here? We've got militia hoplites we could throw into the army. We've got plenty of slingers. Um, I think we we'll can probably hold it for now, no point. No point really throwing extra expenditure in there. We'll uh, use intelligence there, and then he should be able to get into that army next turn. If not, we'll put him into the one at uh, Gazaka. So, uh, again, we're not doing too much there because I want to. See, I want to hear your thoughts on Pergamon. Again, I'm wary of suddenly throwing myself into a two-front war. That would be very much overly aggressive, and I'd rather. I would rather just to focus on one direction, seeing as this seems to be happier, bar Pergamon, thinking I'm going east. Go east, do 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 do. Right, let's end the turn again. I set aside my sword to speak to you, warrior to warrior. This is the way of the world for men. Okay, but you ask us, and they demand. <laughs> you make a demand of me, sir. Um, I... No, I don't agree with that. I don't need you to have two access. It's because basically you can't get through my lands to hit your enemies now. Which is the one I'm actually going after, so... Uh, her, no. Oh, they're pulling back a little bit. Sounds good. Okay, encourage populace, encourage populace, encourage populace, hidden agent exposed. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think we'll pop this chap in here, purely because, there we go, that saved us a lot of money. We've also updated that research, which means we can do hoplite barracks. I'm surprised I don't have a hoplite barracks. Oh, I have one here. In fact, yeah, as much as I would love to upgrade the one here... It's going to be here because it's close to my front. That means we get Bosporian Pikes, um, Armoured Bosporian Warriors. That's cool. That's that's the variety I like to see in a faction. It's like the ones you get with Rome and Carthage and then any, any other faction. Just just didn't get that much, I guess, um, variety in its units, which is a shame. A mercenary Camp. Um, Renumeration Reforms that we actually get. Okay, Spy Reforms. That gets us royal barracks. I think probably with all those new units coming up, we can we can probably afford to go for some economic stuff. Let's go for that. Fortunately, I can't poison these guys or anything like that, um, which is kind of annoying. Oh, they got elite Persian archers, eastern spears, and then these guys, lots of cav. Oh, uh, we can't actually hit them this turn. That's that's kind of annoying. 
Ah, oh, damn, I'm just out of range to raid. We'll come to here, though. Um, ah, so Lucid's are piling on in as well. I'm just scouting around with my spy. Should be able to throw a poison in next turn. We could bring this other army up as well, actually. Most likely. Let's just get that other spy moving on over to check out Pergamon. Oh, that's been taken back. And Rhodes is on the warpath to Cappadocians. So I assume while this is going on, yeah, the Cap rest of the Cappadocian lands probably pretty open. Let's end the turn again. See what happens. Military nice. access that offers. I make it now in friendship, but that can change. That can change. Um, right now with the fact that I can get through their lands now to, because Kerb. Uh, Pergamon's retaken it. Although I don't fancy like a war on two fronts. That's a moderate. Uh, I'm going to take it because it, it might prove useful. That's the maximum I'm going to treat with the Seleucids. I'm not going to go for a defensive uh, alliance or anything like that. I think they drag me into too many wars. I mean, eventually, if, if they do get pushed back. If they do get pushed back, I probably want to be one of those, I guess, leeches of a faction that will uh, steal their land. But uh, I may actually be helping them out by pushing against the eastern factions here. Uh, chance of evading enemy agents. I uh, know we will. Oh no, don't replace Centipole, please. Tribal Confederation. Let's go DC. And do we have an increase in rank? My general, chilling over here. What up, chap? Um, you, we will go for military logistics and that replenishment rate. I would like to go for that first with the TTT mod, Trait Talents and Toadies. Oh, salut kids, you've gone in. Oh, I hope you get defeated, but I also hope you weaken them. Because if that's the case, I am going to, um, I'm going to raid them. Because I want that land for myself. Uh, definitely a good point then that I uh, accepted their agreement there, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to take any more territory. Swifter than Hermes. Right. Persia is just the one there that will bring in Path Harbor. Okay, I think in that case then I'm going to get this army ready, ready to assault, ready to attack. So these guys, I will, I will move to here, then try and get over here next time. They're a little bit pissed about that, so let's uh, let's sort that out. Um, I don't want to kill my. F I quite like the Shrine of Poseidon. Although it really only works when you're near the coast. Um, yeah, we, we better go for Shrine of Zeus for now. That's upgrading there. The rest of the money. Let's save it up for upgrades elsewhere. Uh, oh, Pergamon's pushing through here. Damn. Well, they're being wrecked, though, by poisoning of some kind. Maybe I should go help out the Seleucids, or I should at least be close by in case the Seleucids lose some territory. I'm just going to steal it off whoever takes it. Always always on the lookout to uh, gain some more land and ground. Do, do, do. Capitocians not doing anything as far as I can say. Pokemon's move that army away. And my hidden agent exposed, oh no. Blast it! Um, household expands. Minus 10% nutritional losses went under siege. Um, no center pool for now, please. They've gone there. Oh, they've moved their army up to here. So, yeah, it's pretty Spartan over here. Rhodes pushing forward. They're pushing with these guys. They look pretty weakened. So, I am. I'm just going to fortify up here. Just see if they do anything. Um, I have money. Money! Gonna upgrade that to a grain pit as well, and I'm gonna upgrade that. Oh, the Seleucids, they're, they're going for the multi turn siege. And then with these guys, I'm gonna sit here. Go to their lands, just see, they brought an army up. I think they know something's about to go down. Path Harvest over here. Oh, Path Harvest there. What happened to Persia? Or was I looking at the wrong bit for them? Nope, uh, Path Harvest just ate Persia. They're already at war with quite a few. I thought they were friends. They just join up with them? I don't know. 
Huh. Bit rude, really. Hmm. Okay. Food for thought. Well, I, I should probably... Seeing as I'm over, the, over in the east now with two armies, probably should keep pushing. End the turn once more, I shall. Do, do, do. How are you guys getting on with the uh, Black Sea Colonies? Those of you that are playing that one, or are you all on Wrath of Sparta now? Or are you not on any of the DLCs? My Lord oh! To coin on your <laughs> as a token of I'm actually going to do that because that guarantees that I take the settlement rather than the Seleucids. And they're paying me 1,400 a peace treaty, and they'll be um, they'll be my client state. Yes. I probably could. I don't know if I could have really squeezed more money out of that, but I'm quite happy to take that. Boom. That means the Seleucids have to leave that alone. They're still besieging, actually. Oh, that's even better because unless oh, it looks like they had a fight last turn, and it looks oh, I don't know, it could be really close. Faction destroyed Persia, yeah. Okay. Well, either way, I've I've gained some extra fundage there. I should probably stop raiding then. Okay, let's bring these guys around here. Oh, they've just left that open. I'm going to declare war on them. Oh, they got Bactria and the Arako. Oh, damn, yes, because I was going to go through Persia. Oh, poo. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. Um, oh, cock. Um, I mean, I can keep pushing. Keep pushing. This might be rather regrettable. Oh, I've got to push somewhere, and I can't just be defensive forever. I mean, I could just try and go for Pergamon instead for now, seeing as that's quite a big, a big old pit of... Doom. Pergamon's pulled back to here without actually trying to yeah, bring up quite powerful. They've got a huge garrison there at Tarsus. Let's pull this army over here. I think I'm gonna Yeah, I'm gonna go for Pergamon. I'll hold off going for these guys. Unless they attack me. These guys, they're my client, but they absolutely hate me. Um yeah, I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna play that one this one a bit more conservatively. Again. Let's see what happens in a turn. I've got a lot of money now, which I can throw again back into the economy. Let's upgrade these settlements. Although actually I should probably look back to my capitals to do this first. Um, let's, that's going to be bring in some extra squalor, but um, that's okay for now. Could upgrade the grain pits, but it's not huge. Uh, boosting that straight off the bat. Um, that one's already at level 2. That one's already on that. That one's there. That's upgrading already. So, uh, let's upgrade this one here to a market settlement, growth, public order. We'll go for the civil settlement, and then that's good. Right, we're going to give it one more end turn, probably before we wrap up the part. Something bars my passage, sir. You should probably go to the doctors about that one. Don't want a blocked passage. Gaily. Um, hmm. Pokemon pulling back. They seem to be being poisoned a fair bit. Oh, and Galatia's gone and taken Pessinus. Looks like it might be a time time to swoop in against um, Pergamon, otherwise I'm not going to have anything yet because Cappadocians have just taken it. The Oracle at Delphi. Okay, plus 10% wealth from all sources and of plus 4 public order. War declared, Galatia and Pergamon, faction destroyed. Okay, they got taken out by um, the Seleucids then. The Nervi destroyed. I mean, the Seleucids are well. They hold either they hold a lot of land, or they've been able to push quite, quite well. I maybe should just push with the Seleucid effort. They've now taken out my client, so it probably wouldn't hurt to go and take some settlements. Otherwise, I'm going to be left surrounded by well people that aren't my military allies, unless um, I can get the Seleucids on task with that. Athena has blessed you with the wisdom to speak well. She has blessed me with the wisdom to say no. No. Uh, what about a defensive alliance now? Now I regret not having the defense. So I can get a defensive alliance with them. I've got non-aggression and military access. Because they will instantly <laughs> project me quite seriously uh, forward in my military victory conditions that I need. And they hold all those lands. Otherwise I'm going to have to go up against Salukids at some point. 
Um, so I guess with the salute kids at hand, it might be worth pushing against these guys. That's my thinking. That's my thinking. That's my thought process here. Um, and I have two armies here. But if we're going to push in the east, then if that's okay, what do you guys think about pushing against Pergamon? It's going to bring in roads. It will just bring in the two of them, and then we can sit here. We don't need to go any further west for a very, very long time until we consolidate the east. But I only have one army here, but that should be enough to start with. We're going to pull it to the border anyway. They have money to spend, but that is, as I said, where I'm going to wrap it up for now. So do throw down those thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to check out Opinion Outpost. Um, and, yeah, let me know anything else you want to know in the comments. So until next time. Hope you enjoyed this part. Please remember to comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride in joining the Legion. Ciao for now.